Hello and welcome. So let's continue talking about determinants. <coughs> Sorry. In section 6.2, we want to learn how to evaluate determinants of a general matrix n by n using row reduction. So the goal is to evaluate determinants using row reduction. We want to see what will be the effect of each type of row reduction on a matrix in terms of evaluating determinant. Remark, any REF or RREF square matrix is indeed upper triangular. So the way we construct REF and RREF uh, shows that these type of matrices are upper triangular. Therefore, its determinant equals the product of the entries on the main diagonal. Theorem 6.2.1, part A. If P is a matrix that results when we interchange any two rows or columns of A, then the determinant of B equals minus the determinant of A. Good. Let's look at an example. For example, in this 3 by 3 matrix, this equals minus A21 a22, a23, a11, a12, a13. The last row the same. We don't touch it. So you see here, the operation we had was we switched the first and second row. Part B. If B results when we multiply a row or a column of A by K, K is a scalar then we have the determinant of this new matrix is k times the determinant of the original matrix. So as an example for three by three matrices, uh, we have, so look at this matrix. Basically, the way you can translate property B to this matrix is whenever you have a common k in one row, then basically you can factor that k. So a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, and a33. So here indeed what we did is, in terms of operations, we'll multiply 1 over k times r2, and we put it in r2. Be careful that this is determinant. The, the left side is determinant of B. The right side is K times determinant of A. Again, looking at it, translating this property in terms of factoring makes it easier for you to uh, apply this. So part C, if B results when we add a multiple of a row or column to another row again or column, of A, then determinant won't get changed. So they have the same determinant. So that's why, as an example for three by three matrices, this is what we have, the determinant of this matrix. And you see here what we've done is we basically uh, multiply K to R1 and add it to R2 and we're replaced in R2. So then this is same as A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Okay, good. So we've learned how to, uh, uh, what will happen when you have these three types of operation, row operation, how does the determinant uh, uh, gets changed? Okay, example 6.2.1. Evaluate the following determinant using row operations. Well, you see, first we should make these two zero. So only REF is enough, be careful. To make those zero, 
You see, I don't put arrows here. I put equal because this is determinant. I want to say this determinant equals to what? Be careful. This is one of the common mistakes students do in the exams. They put arrows or other stuff. So this equals because we're applying the third type of the third type operation, this part C. So negative twice R1 plus R2 goes to R2. And then R1 plus R3 goes to R3. So first row the same, second row, two minus twice that, one, zero. 1 minus 2 times 3, minus 5. 3 minus 2 times negative 1, 5. Add the first and the third row, 0, 3, 0. Good. Now, we should make that 1. So we can easily factor out minus 5. And then we get from the second row. So we get 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 3, 0. You see, indeed, what we've done is 1 over negative 5 times R2 goes to R2. However, this is the way it affects the determinant. Now, we have negative 5 here. What should we do? Well, We have to basically make this zero. So negative three R2 plus R3 R3. Okay. Now we get one, three minus one, zero, one minus one, zero, three minus three times one, zero, zero minus three times negative one, three. Great. Now you can easily see that this is upper triangular. That's why the answer is just minus 5 times multiply 1 to 1 to 3. So minus 15. You see, this is kind of this third method, at least for only for 3 by 3 matrices, but for general case, the second method. So you can either do the cofactor expansion along a row or column, or you can do a row operation. But you have to be careful by uh, keeping the track of the changes. So it will be mentioned right here in the method. To find the determinant using row operations, step one, apply row operation to find an REF. And keep track of the changes in the determinants. Be careful with that. Number two, since any REF matrix is upper triangular, its determinant can be calculated by multiplying its diagonal entries. Good. This is what we've done. Okay. Uh, I guess it's enough for now. We will continue section 6.3 in the next video. Okay, stay safe. Bye.